GVSU Volleyball split their weekend road trip with a tough loss against Wisconsin Parkside on Friday, then winning against Purdue Northwest on Saturday. Here to talk about the games and preview the Glee Act tournament is head coach Deanne Scanlon and coach wrapping up the regular season. Mm -hmm. Got a big win at the end, but a tough road trip to end the season. Yeah, it, that loss on Friday night at Parkside, that was that was a tough one. Um, you know, we we really battled. You know, we, we struggled the last two weekends, I think, of being really competitive and not really putting our best out there on the floor the last two weekends. But I think when we went to Parkside, the, the kids played well. They played with a lot of energy, a lot of fight. Um, and then to be on the losing end of it, it's, it's, it's tough. Um, you know, we were up in set five, uh, 12 to seven and lost it. So that made it tough, but uh, they rebounded well. You know, the next day it was a quick turnaround and, and uh, you know, we just told them you can't let the loss last night affect what we need to do today. And, and I thought that they rebounded really well and played a nice match against Purdue Northwest. Knowing everything that was on the line with the GLIAC tournament mm -hmm. seeding, to have such a tough loss, how do you bounce back just one day later like that? I mean, they, they really, you have to work at it. I mean, it, it, as a coach, it was emotional for, for us as well. The coaching staff is like, you know, we, 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 you battled, but you, you really just have to, you know, pull everybody in and say, you know, tell them that they, what they did well, and let's focus on that and bring that to our match on Saturday. Um, and then there's the physical component of it when you go five sets as well and you play really hard, you, you know, it, uh, you're a little bit more physically tired the next day as well. But, but it is more of a mental challenge and I think that was probably the thing that I was the most um, happy about on the weekend was the way that they did. They were able to kind of put that behind them and kind of in some ways build momentum off of the way that they played on Friday night. On the court, what went well on Saturday? Uh, we served and passed extremely well, um, and, and that's tough to do on the road in a new environment, uh, but for the most part, part we were in system um, a lot and uh, kept them out of system, um, and uh, we dug a lot of balls. I thought our effort was good defensively. Um, we had some people that stepped up that put some good numbers up on, at Purdue Northwest. Uh, Jillian Butsovich, I think, had a great weekend just in general. I'm not even sure she had an attack error on the whole weekend. Um, so as a senior, you're, you know, you like to see that. That was good. So, um, and like I said, I thought their energy was good. Sometimes, it, I mean, it really can be a letdown emotionally um, after having a tough loss the night before. And for your seniors on the road, obviously mm -hmm. wrapping up their last regular season, what does that mean to them emotionally? You know, I think uh, nobody, uh, nobody wants it to end ever. You know, even though you know that's the reality, there's going to be a last match that you're ever going to play. So you hope some of that urgency. Uh, hits them and, I, and I'm sure that it has you know we'll get into practice this afternoon we'll talk a little bit about that but uh, you know we're expecting them to kind of lead the way here as we head to the great white north I think we're getting some snow this weekend up there so yeah there's gonna be some snow here this week as well but yeah. as we turn our attention now to that first round of the GLIAC uh -huh. tournament Michigan Tech's a very solid team yes you've been there once already this mm -hmm. year what can we expect well, they are a team that offensively, uh, they hit at a pretty high clip. They run a really quick offense, so we've got to be able to identify their hitters, get our block, you know, get some type of block in front of them. And uh, again, the serve and pass game is going to be huge because if we can serve and get them out of system a little bit, slow down their offense, I think we got a chance. Um, we're two totally different teams. They're a smaller team. Uh, kind of quick. We're a bigger physical team, uh, but I th I feel like we're a better team than what we were when we went up there and played them the last time. It's a midweek game, though, so obviously the travel yeah. schedule and everything, with this being the longest trip possible in the uh -huh. GLIAC, is going to be a little bit of an issue, won't it? You know, uh, again, you just you, you kind of embrace that. You know, that we're the road warriors. You just it's it's just how you play it up with the kids. You know, it's time for us to spend time on the bus, looking at film, doing things. So. Um, and, and just to focus in, sometimes when you're, when you're traveling and you're on the road, you can control that environment a lot more than when you're at home and they're doing their normal behaviors, you know, going to, uh, so, so we'll, we'll approach it that way. We'll pretty much, we're going to get on the bus with the intent of getting back off the bus with a win and playing for the weekend. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for your time. Good luck on Wednesday. Great. Thank you.